Island spot. On any given weekend, hundreds of hipsters, families, and tourists move through the Brooklyn Flea in Williamsburg, hunting or maybe just perusing for a bargain or something different to take home with them. There's a lot of people coming here looking to spend money to buy something. The Brooklyn Flea started in 2008 and has two locations, one here in Williamsburg and one in Fort Greene, where 250 vendors come out to sell every weekend. They sell everything from clothing to knickknacks to this guy to art. I take Polaroids and pull apart the film and then rub the negatives onto watercolor paper. Basically it's like all like my journal of my life for the past five, six years. Vendors like Matt Schwartz pay $250 each weekend to rent the space in this lot near East River Park. So making a sale is essential to breaking even. He sells his work for $65 to $85. I've had days where I've like set up and like have made like $200, like, which thankfully don't like happen that often, but like where there's a day you sell like one photo and you're like question your entire existence. A flea market wouldn't be complete without people trying to drive a hard bargain. Do people at the Brooklyn Flea try to haggle the heck out of you? They do, but you know, I think um, our prices are very fair and we put our prices on every item and basically stick with those prices. And I mean, you know, they try, but eventually they just go for it because they know it's a well-made product. Avion Karabai and her husband John, who makes all of the work, once owned a storefront in New Jersey, where they continue to make furniture using recycled wood from barns and buildings. She says the Brooklyn Flea has proven to be a better place to sell. Like being in a storefront is so much more expensive and the overhead things are, you know, from since 2008 things have gotten like, you know, through the roof. The company Old Good Things uses antique roofs to make mirrors for up to $950. They own six stores in New York and California, but count on the Brooklyn Flea to drive traffic to their stores. I would meet a lot of people that don't know us and invite them to the store. Or they might buy something here at the market. They get a little discount here at the market. And uh, we get to meet people that way. Gregory Switalski says it's important to understand the market's clientele. We're willing to give a break. Yeah, you know, we're willing to work with people. And you get a lot of younger people here that maybe necessarily can't afford our mirrors kind of expensive. I mean, we're willing to bargain to a certain point, but at some point it becomes, you know, we're not going to make any money. At the Brooklyn Flea in Williamsburg, I'm Vanessa Yurkevich for Bluen Art Info.